Hello my beautiful Pisces, this is Debs and we're into mid-January 2022. Guys, I hope you've had an amazing start of this new year. Um, I hope things are going smoothly for you. Coming out of meditation, um, it was a very interesting vision. I saw a woman running around her space, but she was doing things that weren't that important. She was doing a little bit of washing up, writing lists, watering the plants. It was almost as if she was keeping herself busy doing peripheral things that weren't crucial. And then Michael showed me a big red stop sign with a line through it. You know how you get on a highway, on a road. And then I saw a vision later on, two or three minutes into the meditation, of her sitting in an outside cafe, wearing a really big coat. It was cold, obviously, so this may be a reading for somewhere that is in January cold. Okay, not everywhere is. Um, wearing a pair of sunglasses, because it was very, very sunny, and she, she was sitting, having a really nice mug of coffee, or it could have been tea, outside, just watching people come and go. There was a square and there were little shops. It could be a courtyard somewhere, but she was just sitting, enjoying the environment. And then it's really strange. I saw her in the apartment again and she scrumpled up her list and chucked it, chucked it in the bin. And she had a phone call from someone and she was saying, I'm gonna be there in five minutes. Can't wait, you know, type of energy. The biggest energy coming through Pisces is that I think you've gone through a very big shift, might've been in the last few months. And I think you are still in that go, go, go mode. So you could have been flying around from place to place, had lots of things going on in your life, juggling loads of projects, coping with loads of things. And it's almost as if your body is still in that overdrive energy. And the divine is saying, Cool it down, Pisces. Breathe, take a rest, put your feet up, just enjoy where you are. Because this apparently is going to be the most important time in your life. Now, it could be that this is the time where you're going to meet someone very special. But if you're too busy filling your day with things, you know, your weekends with things that you really don't need to do, keeping you inside. The divine is saying, get out, get out amongst people. Pick up a hobby that puts you in front of people. Create a different routine to prevent you staying in hermit mode and filling your day with things that you really don't need to do. So Pisces, let's get into this reading. Hmm. Using a crystal quartz to connect through with Archangel Michael and Divine. Um, the deck is by Chiro Marchetti. I hope that's correct. All right, guys. After three years of doing tarot, I suddenly realized I've been mispronouncing his name. So apologies. Right, here we go, guys. <laughs> here we go. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Pisces? This is for mid-January 2022. Mid Jan 2022. You're going to be having to force yourself to slow down, force yourself to look outside your day to day life and to realize that you may have been filling your day to day life with things you really don't need to do. Okay? Now is the time to get social. Now is the time to really enjoy what you have achieved, however, that resonates with you. So, Michael, who do we have with us in this reading for my Pisces, please? Thank you. Archangel Uriel, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Michael. Father Kerry is coming through. I'm smelling incense very strongly. Oh, wow. He's doing the sign of the cross. He's saying, peace be with you, Deborah. Peace be with you, Father. Cedric is with me. Oh, 
Oh God, okay guys, I'm getting really emotional. Ooh. I don't know whether you know who Cedric is. Many of you will, and you'll be sick of me saying it, but if you don't, look at my website, My Story is a Medium. I sent Cedric across to the light a while ago. He died in the mines many, many years ago. Um, and he's just said to me, you are the mummy I never had. And it just made me emotional. Okay. So, oh. Oh, okay. Orphan. He was an orphan. Was, he was working in the mines when he was five or six, and he he died. And it, he's always with me. Well, he's usually with me. Um, and sometimes he comes out with things that just make me feel very emotional. <laughs> All right. So, Michael, are we ready, please? He's saying yes, Deborah. Hmm. He's calming my energies down. Ooh. Wow, that's very emotional. Right, Pisces, finally we get into your reading. Here we go. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yes. You're stuck in a cycle that you have been in for a long time. What the Divine is saying, Pisces, is that you don't need to stay in that cycle anymore. Now, this is you being stuck in an old routine. Maybe you've got more free time now, but you're still doing things that you don't need to do to fill in time. That time needs to be spent getting out, meeting people, enjoying your environment, looking at new things. Yeah. Judgment in the reverse. It would be a bad judgment call, Pisces, to stay stuck in the cycle that you've been in. Look at your routine. What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What do you do at the weekends? They're saying, oh, wow. Okay, he's showing me somebody at a skittle alley just throwing a ball towards a load of skittles and they're crashing to the ground. You need to completely smash the cycle that you've been in. Pisces, it's really unhealthy for you and it's keeping you stuck. Yeah, they're saying it's going to be a bad judgment call to stay stuck in the cycle that you've been in for all this time. You need to really look at your routine. I keep getting that. In the past, the Eight of Swords, a lot of fear, a lot of overthinking, okay? In the immediate past, the Eight of Cups. You walked away from a situation that wasn't serving you. Now this could have been relocation, moving. It could be that you left a partner, they left you. You were ready for a new adventure in the immediate past, but then at Pisces, what I'm getting is you're back in the old cycle again. You're back in the old cycle. You will know what that means. For those of you I'm connecting with, you'll think, yeah, I know what that means. Okay. In your thoughts, the page of pentacles in the reverse, feeling sad that no one's potentially coming into your periphery, your environment to ask you out, you know, oh, it'd be nice to date somebody, but it's not really happening for me. Yeah. Well, it may be. This is the problem. Right. Beautiful. We have you taking charge of your cycle. He's showing me the skittles again. Yeah, you're smashing a cycle. And what is happening? The energy is changing and the divine is bringing in love. Wow, Pisces. What you're fearing, yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. You have not really wanted to let the past go. A past cycle, a past routine, maybe for you it was comforting. Maybe it was comforting. But they're telling you to change your routine. Because Pisces, once you get into a new routine that's maybe healthier for you, emotionally, maybe even physically, the energy around you is going to change. You are fearful of letting the past go. Whoever is in your environment is thinking of you. 
because they're thinking of the high priestess. Now, what is fascinating is, of course, as you guys know, the high priestess doesn't speak. No communication, silence. So they're thinking how nice it would be if you came out of your shell and you were a little bit more social. Whoever this is, could be somebody that is in your environment. You may not even know who this is. But the way they view you is somebody who is always or has always been in hermit mode, keeping themselves to themselves, locked away in your tight little routine. They're really hoping that you reach out or you become a little bit more social and you're recognizing this. They're fantasizing about you. What you're hoping for, Pisces, with the two of pentacles in the reverse, what you're hoping for is that you can put down a time in your life where you have just been supremely busy, okay? Just exhausting yourself. Juggling this, juggling that. But I think that you've almost got used to being incredibly busy to the point where even though you may not have to be busy, you're still keeping yourself busy. And the divine is saying, let it go. You're hoping to have the courage to change your routine. Again, it's a duplicate message all the way through your reading. Oh, Pisces, the sun, the sun. <laughs> Sit in the sun with a cup of coffee, watch the world go by. Even if it's just for an hour on a Saturday, change your routine. Get out there. There's life and love out there for you. It's not going to happen if you keep yourself in this little routine. And it could be something as simple as, right, every Saturday I do the washing, ironing, cleaning, cooking. I pick up the kids or I drop the kids off if you're a single mom. I then read my emails. No, you need to change things around to give yourself a little bit of extra time. And with that extra time, don't pack in more stuff. It's just more stuff you feel, well, I can get this done. I can get that done. No, what they're saying, Pisces, is you've been so busy you need to take a little bit of a step back and just enjoy where you are. Just enjoy where you are. Because what is the point of living if you're permanently thinking about emptying the dishwasher? <laughs> I've got to mend a hole in my sock. Um, whatever this is for you, don't fill your life with silly little things you really don't need to do that you could do in the evening. That's what I'm getting. All of those things, the little things that take up a precious Saturday or Sunday, you can do in the evening. Free up one day a week, a Saturday, a Sunday, just free it up. And don't write down anything. I'm just getting the, the energy of somebody writing lists of everything they need to do when you don't actually need to do it. You've been so used to being really, really busy and you've been incredibly organized, Pisces. You're carrying this old routine into a brand new life. And they're saying, get rid of it. Skittles, right? Smash it down. Don't be stuck. It would be a really bad judgment tool to call to keep yourself stuck in this old cycle. You've got the sun in your outcome. Now, for some of you, you've got a Leo turning up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For others of you, this is the divine saying, just be happy. Mid-January will be about you putting your feet up, getting rid of an old routine, changing things up, picking up a nice hobby, having time to sit and write a diary. But do it outside. Do it in a cafe. Do it somewhere different. Don't just sit in. You need to realize that time is a very precious thing, Pisces, and time goes incredibly fast. And what the divine is saying, you've had a lot on your plate, but if you stay in this cycle, it's going to be to your detriment because you're going to wake up one day in five years time and think, oh my goodness, 
I have spent my life doing things for other people or stupid little things that I could have done in the evenings, silly little things that I really didn't need to do. Fill your precious time with things that you really love to do. Now is the time. Now is the time. They are wanting you to be more social because I think you've got someone who is thinking of you very intently. But if you keep saying, I'm too busy, I can't do it, I've got things to do, when actually you don't, not really, not really important things, Pisces, then they're saying you could miss a beautiful opportunity for love, okay? Six of Swords, you've moved to calmer waters, but you haven't detached from an old cycle. The star in the reverse. And there's a danger that you won't get your wish come true because you're not changing a routine that you've had in your life for a long time that desperately needs changing. King of Cups in the reverse. Now, for some of you, you've been forcing yourself to keep busy because you've been suffering from heartbreak. Maybe in the past it could have been relating to an Aquarius or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio um, and you've been keeping yourself busy to push down the emotions for others of you because you haven't got out of this what has become a little bit of a toxic routine you're not achieving what you want which is ultimate happiness and fulfillment and to be with somebody who loves you. Yeah? Can you see? Now it could be that this person who wants to connect with you is losing faith because you seem to be holding yourself up, not wanting to be social. I'm always really busy. Well, yes, but Pisces, is it important? Something needs to end. And what is fascinating is Ten of Swords under the deck. Now, either you've been covering up a lot of heartbreak and pain through keeping yourself incredibly busy and you need to come to terms with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. Or you need to end a cycle of you feeling unhappy Maybe you're constantly sat in nostalgia. What somebody did to you in the past? Well, it, was it two or three years ago? Five years ago? Ten years ago? Leave it in the past, Pisces. They are pushing you forward. They're pushing you into the light, into the sunshine. Pisces, for goodness sake, you're in a new cycle. Be happy. Stop creating things to do to keep yourself busy so you don't want to think about what happened. Just push it out there. Get rid of it. Okay? Whatever this is for you, take it out in the gym, have a really good cry, write an angry letter to this person and burn it. Whatever you need to do, just get rid of this pain from the past and end this awful cycle that you've kept yourself stuck in because it's prevented you from moving forward. Now, we have the Empress. The Empress is you, this is you, Standing strong, standing tall, you know that you are the empress. But you are behaving as if you are a page, Pisces. A little page, quiet, reserved. I don't want to contact anyone. I don't want to go out and meet people. I don't want to be hurt again. No, head up. You are the empress, for goodness sake. And you have someone who sees you as the empress, but you don't seem to see yourself as the empress. So maybe this is self-esteem issues. And I think we've touched on this before, Pisces. Nine of Swords. Get yourself up and out of sitting in, feeling a bit down, feeling a bit miserable. No, I don't really want to go out. Oh, I'm not feeling like it today. Get out of that mentality. Okay? Just get out of that mentality. They're saying you have the sun coming in. Yeah, wow. Guys, I'm sorry, but what we have underneath that is the Two of Cups. Wow, guys, the Queen of Cups. Unbelievable. The Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups. You have someone, Pisces, that you knew 
in the past who wants to reconnect with you, but because you have pulled right back, it's almost as if they've given up hope, but I think they're going to try again. Here, now, goodness me, guys, time is ticking. Let's just jump straight in. Wow, 20 minutes in. Okay, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> but the message, I just wanted to hammer home, okay, because it's really, really important for someone out there. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, stuck in a cycle, which with judgment in the reverse is a very bad decision. The divine is saying, no, 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 get yourself out of this cycle. A cycle of staying in, doing everything else to fill in your time when you should be getting out there and meeting people, or at least being available for somebody to come up to you and say hi, i.e. sitting in an outdoor cafe, right? You know, rather than sitting in at your desk, having lunch in your office, right? Get out, sit in the park. If it's cold, you know, grab a coat and just sit on the edge of a really nice terrace or something. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Very interesting. Do you think of any sound, guys? I've got people repairing a flat upstairs. It's a bit of a nightmare. In the past, eight of swords stuck in your head. This could be fear, fear of rejection, fear of stepping outside your comfort zone, fear of changing your cycle. Fear. I don't know. I don't know what I should be doing here. You did make one decision, though. You did know in your heart of hearts that you really needed to move on to look at the future. For some of you, you actually relocated. Eight of Cups. You moved. You left the past behind. For some of you, you didn't know what to do in a situation relating to a partner. Maybe a long-term situation, maybe somebody you were dating. But you made the decision, I think, to end it. Because for some of you, you walked away. It might have been painful, but you walked away. In your thoughts, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Now this is, well, I'm not really meeting anyone who wants to date me, who wants to spend time with me. This is dating. This is somebody approaching you saying, hey, Pisces, can I get to know you? You're disappointed because it's not happening. Well, Pisces, I don't want to repeat myself. Yeah, stuck, stuck. Michael, when is the Ace of Cups coming through for my Pisces? Now, this is really positive, guys. When is that coming through, please? 23rd of January. Wow, soon. Mm -hmm. Pointing forward. Wow, okay. I'm hearing a lot of clapping and I'm seeing the date the 14th of June. Oh, wow. I can see two people's holding hands and they're squeezing each other's hands. Oh my goodness. Are you getting serious with somebody, Pisces? Or you? Or perhaps you will be. Perhaps there's some kind of celebration on the 14th of June. Maybe you're celebrating one of your birthdays. This person's birthday. A family event, maybe. Wow. What you're thinking about at this point of time is the Ace of Cups. Now, this is self-love. So maybe this is self-love, self-care, self-nurture. This could be you thinking, oh my goodness, this could be a new relationship. Whoever is in your environment, and who knows, they could be a fellow Pisces, is thinking of you, the High Priestess. But this is somebody who doesn't say anything, silence. So they are conscious that you're not communicating. You may know who this is, Pisces. You may think, yeah, I haven't really communicated with them for a long time. Could have been anyone, could have been an ex that you never got off your mind. It could be somebody who was an acquaintance that it just didn't work out with. But they're very conscious that you're not opening up. So maybe this is the time that you need to. I mean, all it takes is a little message saying, hi, how are you? It, that's all it takes, Pisces. I'm not suggesting you run after anyone because you're the empress. You don't run after anyone, Pisces. But you do need to open up. Be available for somebody to start a conversation with you. 
This is also someone who feels a very strong telepathic connection with you, a psychic connection. Maybe they understand that there is past life energy between the two of you. They're fully aware of that. They're also fully aware, Pisces, of your power. This is someone who is fantasizing about being with the high priestess. I almost get the sense that this person is putting on a little bit of a pedestal, Pisces. You may not know it. What you're fearing is just letting the past go. Simple, simple, simple. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you could be fearing, well, you know, I've got to save money. And if this person comes into my life, then we're going to be doing things. It's going to be expensive, day trips, whatever this is. Don't stress, Pisces, again. I'm getting a slightly agitated, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm kind of safer at home. I'm safer in my comfort zone. Don't, don't make me go out. Push yourself out. Push yourself. Because actually when you do find yourself meeting new people, talking, being social, there will be a sense of happiness and progress that you'll sense in your life. And then maybe you'll look back and think, oh my goodness, yeah, every single weekend I was staying in or I was, you know, working, I just had a little bit of extra money. No, you're changing things up, Pisces, and it's going to be to your benefit. In your hopes, two of pentacles in reverse. Now, this is you juggling things, projects, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Well, with important things, Pisces, were they really important? You've kept yourself so busy that you've been missing opportunities coming in behind you. No, 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 no. Turning your back. I'm too busy. I haven't got time. Pisces, you're hoping to get out of that vicious circle. And I think you are because what you've got coming in is the sun. I mean, this is proverbially lying on a hammock with a margarita in the sunshine. Okay. No work, no stress. Just enjoying the environment. This is growth, expansion. Some of you are thinking, to hell with it. I need a holiday. You may be deciding just to take a week off work. Talking to your boss or rearranging your work schedule if you work for yourself to think, no, to hell with it. I need a week off. I need a week off. And even if you don't go somewhere warm and sunny, you're going to be using that week off in a very productive way. You're not just going to be doing things that you've always done in the past, silly things you don't really need to do. You're going to be doing something that really feeds your soul. Writing that book or starting to write that book you've always wanted to. Picking up a really lovely hobby. Maybe you've always wanted to learn to paint. Maybe for some of you, you're going to be thinking, right, I'm going to spend a week and I'm going to start a detox, a diet. I'm going to start a gym routine. And you are determined to keep that going. Now, hopefully that's going to be something that gets you out rather than something that's going to keep you in. Because there is a sense of being out in the sunshine. I know it's mid Jan, guys, and for many of you out there, it's freezing right now. But they're saying just to have that sense of getting out into the light, even if it's really cold, is going to help you and lift your spirits. Do it. The world is waiting. The world is your oyster, Pisces. Don't keep locked into this little cycle. Okay? Wow. So, Six of Swords. You've moved to calmer waters. You have left something behind. You may have just relocated recently. You may have started a new job. You may have moved to another house or another apartment. Something's changed in the last few months. But Ace of Swords in reverse, you haven't cut out the past. You haven't cut out this cycle that you've kept yourself in. Keeping yourself busy doing things that really aren't that important. And because of that, with a star in reverse, you're not getting a wish come true. And you are not symbolically meeting your perfect other half. The King of Cups is your perfect other half. You're not. Because even though you've made some kind of change in your life, you've gone back to the same old routine. And they're saying, don't do it. Don't do it, Pisces. This is what they're suggesting. Ten of Swords. End that vicious cycle, Pisces. Put something to a close that's been draining you because you are the Empress. Head held high. You are the Empress. 
So get your confidence back because people see you as the empress and I think some people are very confused as to why you don't want to be social. You're not getting out. You're not wanting to meet new people. Nine of swords in reverse. Whatever has been keeping you stuck and trapped, heartbreak from the past, fear of rejection, not feeling very comfortable with yourself in whatever way it is, get to grips with what the core issue is and get out there. Just push that past energy away and leave it where it belongs in the past. All right, guys. Well, let's delve in. We're going to do it very quickly because time is a ticking. But Michael, let's begin. What is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse crossed with the Judgment card in the reverse? What is that all about, please, for my Pisces? The Death card, Scorpio energy. Now, the Death card in reverse is you not ending a cycle and therefore something isn't transforming. It's again keeping you stuck. Same message. Same message. Yeah, and what is that cycle, Pisces? You sat in hermit mode. Isolating yourself, feeling a little bit down. Well, I'm never going to meet anybody. Well, of course you're not if you're going to keep yourself busy doing things that really aren't important. Okay, uh-huh, you know it. And for those of you that are really triggered and getting a bit cross, it's because this is true. You know it's true. And this is you admitting it to yourself. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I can get <laughs> some people getting irritated. Yes, I know. I know that I've been keeping myself stuck. Well, yeah, this is this is that message coming through, Pisces. Do something about it. The hermit. Now, I don't know. Were you heartbroken by a Scorpio or a Virgo in the past? I don't know. Hmm. Something's been keeping you stuck. Ooh, were they Leo? Strength in the reverse. This is you not having confidence. They're saying, get your courage and confidence going, Pisces, because someone's coming in. Now, who knows? They could be a Leo, a Virgo, or a Scorpio. It could be somebody that doesn't want the cycle to end with you. They've been thinking about you intensely and they just can't hold back. But you're not saying anything. So they don't know whether or not you're going to push them away. So this is you needing to open up, Pisces. What is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse? You're thinking, you know, it's really unfair. I'm, I'm just not meeting anyone. Well, you're not getting out, Pisces. Justice in the reverse, feeling unbalanced. Mm-hmm. Feeling unbalanced. Not getting into some nice contract with somebody because you're not getting out there to meet anyone. Or what you're doing is you're pushing away anyone that approaches you. If somebody messages you, you know, what are you up to? Can we meet up? Your reaction is, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing other things. Okay? Yeah. Michael, what is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? Wants to come through that way. Oh, the hangman. Pisces energy. This is you, guys. Okay? This is you getting the wake-up call that this is possibly about you not having the strength and courage to be open and social. Look at that. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. You're also looking back at the past, but you're looking at what you've done. I just isolated myself. I haven't been out. I haven't met anyone. So no wonder my love life is crap. I mean, let's face it, Pisces. Yeah? Yeah? Are you triggered? Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking I definitely am. Um, yeah. Wake up call. I've been keeping myself stuck. I have been keeping myself stuck. You may also be coming to the understanding that someone has not forgotten you and they want to come back in. Ooh, the tower. Scorpio, Aries energy. Pisces, as soon as you kind of come out of your little cave, I think you may have people wanting to see you, get to know you. And this is the shock. 
Once you break free of this energy, no, I'm looking back at the past. I'm keeping myself in this 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 little cycle because it's comforting. It's safe. No, 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 Pisces, get out of it. Get out of it. Because once you blow up that cycle, my goodness, I'm getting overexcited. Once you blow up that cycle, right? Boom, tower. I think you're going to find somebody, maybe two or three people, really want to be communicating with you, seeing you. You've definitely got someone here who's thinking of you. Yeah, you realise, Pisces, people really want to get to know you, and it may be a bit of a shock. The world. This is you, head held high, getting really confident. <laughs> I always think this is yoga or Pilates. Maybe you're picking up something like a hobby. Maybe you're getting really healthy. Maybe you're losing a few pounds. I don't know, Pisces, but you're looking pretty damn good. Or you're beginning to realize that, yeah, I need to get out there. I need to be in the sunshine. I need to make myself break free of this old cycle. You know, gone are the days of you being unconfident. There's something, this is a root issue you're taking control of. You're smashing this old cycle and people are noticing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nine of cups in reverse. Are you getting rid of overindulgence, Pisces? Staying in, internet shopping, mm-hmm. Comfort eating, too many glasses of wine on a Friday night. You're getting rid of that. That old cycle is ending. Because it was really unhealthy for you, really unhealthy. Oh, and look at you, six of wands. This is you getting your confidence back. This is you feeling more energetic. Realizing people really want to meet you. People really admire you. People are wanting to be in and around your lovely energy, Pisces. This is a huge change for you. Michael, who is that in the high priestess? Oh, wow. Somebody thinking of you from a distance. This is someone who is wanting to see you, maybe wanting to travel to meet you. And you're on a horse moving towards them. They're thinking about you. You two may be coming together at this point of time. Yeah. Wow, four of pentacles. This is somebody who never really let you go, Pisces. I don't think you two have spoken for quite a while, but they've never let you go. They've been thinking about you. They've been thinking about you. Ooh, the Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. Could be somebody who senses a strong spiritual connection with you. Somebody here could be thinking about marriage. I've got to be honest, Pisces. This is um, a wake-up call. This is a wake-up call. I think you've got someone who sees you as marriage material, the Empress. Okay? Uh, this is somebody who wants to approach you, but they're nervous because maybe they don't see you communicating with them and they see you in the Six of Wands. Wow, look at Pisces. Okay? Eight of Wands. They're going to be communicating with you. They want to talk to you. They want to see you. This is gorgeous. Now, Michael, what is the sun? What is the sun? Wow, <laughs> ten of pentacles. Somebody could be offering you long-term commitment. For some of you, you're changing your energy. And with the change of energy, somehow it may affect your finances. I don't know. Maybe you're getting out there and meeting people and realizing, okay, this person could could partner up with me in something or other that could bring in some money whatever this is this is really exciting the magician virgo scorpio gemini energy you're manifesting either a lot of financial stability or supreme happiness in a new commitment pisces wow 
I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so happy for you guys. Because, gosh, you've needed it. It's almost as if you've suddenly woken up to your own power, you know? Ooh, the Emperor. Now, we could have an Aries coming in. This could be someone who is taking charge, manifesting you into their life. Pisces, this could be you. But we've got the Emperor and the Empress. I mean, you may have met your other half. They may be proposing. Queen of Swords. Mm, you may have some questions, Pisces, but don't push this person away. Don't push this person away. Oh, cars are flying out. Four of Cups in reverse. You are going to accept this person's offer of love. You are. You may not have accepted it before. Yeah, this is someone from the past, Pisces, coming back in. Could be a Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, or Virgo in particular. Who knows? You could have five or six people turning up on your doorstep, Pisces, and you're feeling good, but you don't know what to do. <laughs> you're a bit nervous. You're a little bit nervous. Knight of Cups. You're going to be specifically opening up to the person that you feel genuinely loves you. Not somebody who was wanting to bask in your lovely, bright Pisces energy. Not somebody who wants you as arm candy. Do you know what I mean? For some of you, you are wanting to be with somebody who genuinely has affection and emotion for you. And if you're doing financially well, you're also going to be making sure that somebody isn't wanting to be with you because they see you financially stable. You're looking for somebody who genuinely loves you. And you're going to be using your intuition to figure out who that is. Oh, yeah. The chariot could be a Cancerian coming in, or it could be that you have a choice between two people. You could also be doing some traveling. You could be seeing someone, meeting someone, maybe developing a beautiful connection with this person. You want to figure out more about them. Oh, cards are two of cups. Yeah. Whoever this is, Pisces, this is a very powerful soulmate connection. Somebody who you have known in a past life. Someone who really wants to move forward with you. For some of you, you could be thinking of moving or you may realize that this person is considering moving to be with you. Oh, Pisces, four of wands? Now, that's 11-11. For some of you, Emperor and the Empress, you are moving forward with your divine twin. Seriously, this could be twin union that is delayed, mixing the yin and the yang energies. Yeah. Now, for others of you, someone's falling in love with you, Pisces, and they may be wanting to discuss living together, getting engaged. You've got some questions, okay? But this could be very positive. And Pisces, for those of you who have kept your style self in, stuck, you are gonna be feeling completely different. Maybe come February, you're just getting to grips with the root core of the issue that you've had. Whether it's heartbreak, fear of, reject, of rejection, um, self-esteem issues you're getting rid of all of that you're working on it and it shows and this is the result it's beautiful so my lovely Pisces I'm gonna leave it there take care of you sending love and light your way and many blessings bye guys